Good evening. My name is Obinda Akum. Welcome to uh, tonight. I want to share with you um, what I call entrepreneurship uh, is about team skill. Entrepreneurship is about team skill. They say that uh, humans are the most difficult uh, part of the entrepreneurship journey. The ability to do with human beings is that much uh, complex and difficult. There are two things that we usually we all look out when we when we start to bring our idea into uh, a business into fruition. Um, usually most people have the thinking that you need the money and the money is critical which is true but we we look uh, over the human side the people side i tend to think that the human side is more difficult than the money just as we go through a lot of errors and mistakes in trying to build the the financial skill the the, the money skill ability to handle more in terms of money we will go through a lot of errors uh, to be able to have the team that will help us to uh, build the business that we want and and it's not a simple journey to move from a situation where you don't have any uh, much uh, people skill and then to a situation where you'll be able to have a team that you can rely on a team that you can trust a team that you can have to deliver the business that uh, you're building or to grow the business that you're building that's why most people will stay with uh, you know they have an idea to start a business but usually they will stay they, they, will, they will stay with working or by themselves or working with one or two people that they know but no business grows without people. There is no business that can grow without people. And, and if you want to grow the business, that you must grow your ability to handle people, to organize people, to lead people, to have a team. And that does not come easily because <laughs> humans are very complex. A very complex so just as we started with zero knowledge or very little knowledge with the money and then after a while you start to understand how to handle money and how make how to make good decisions on money the same time you're also starting with very little people skill people people knowledge people expertise and you are going to make the same kind of errors 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 to the point where maybe you get to understand uh, how to build a very good team uh, to grow the business just as you you get to understand how to build a good fund or get uh, investors money or something like that to build a business our journey is also uh, our journey also involves becoming that kind of person who will be able to have the skill to lead a team and to handle a team that can build a business and from now or from the stage where you don't know what to do in terms of the team and the skill that is required and uh, all the skills that are required to, to to lead the team to the point where you, you you tend to understand some few things you are going to learn a lot the, the the one of the things that you would have to just get clear right from the beginning is that you cannot build uh, any business beyond yourself without people and so if you're very much uncomfortable with ever moving with people because of the disappointment that you have had because of the the the, the trust level that you have experienced it means that you are just you just have to continue to work on it just as when you experience a lot of bad situations and you know difficulties with finances you don't give up but you continue to build yourself to a point where your finances get to make meaning the same way that you have got to continue to develop the people skill the people skill 
you, you have got to build the team you have got to learn how to put people together to get the business uh, built and running the same and so if you were disappointed and and, and this is part of the training so be ready People will, will disappoint you and then you will make wrong choices. You will make, you pick people that you so believe that they will be there and they will not be there. People that you thought that you could trust and you, it turned out that they were not the people to trust. People that you thought that will, uh, will be there with you through it and then just as least you expected, they will move on. All these are part of the training to you getting to a stage where you will have a team that can build a good business so if you have that kind of openness if you have that kind of thinking then you you know that it's journey that you have embarked on it's a journey that you are going to become somebody who understands uh who has a little bit of a people skill because the understanding is that you're not going to build any business if you are just the one person doing the business and you are not going to build any big business so to say any business beyond yourself if you cannot work with people and have solid team the quality of people that you're able to put together at a point will be responsible for the successes that you're going to enjoy and to a large extent even the kind of freedom in terms of time and in terms of um, uh, even rest uh, on your body that you're going to have because some people uh, uh, tend to build businesses but they sacrifice their time they sacrifice their health, they sacrifice their relationship, they sacrifice everything that was there to them to build the business. And everything rests on them. They don't trust anybody, they don't build anybody up, they don't develop anybody so everybody runs on them. That is not so much a good understanding of how you're going to build a business because once the business starts to grow, once the business starts to become strong, your number one or one of your best skill your number one leverage will be how to identify quality talent people and to put them somewhere give them a position give them a business give them a department give them something that you're doing and they will be able to do it and sometimes even better than if you were present yourself you know and it's not some it's, it's one of the most difficult skills to develop because it involves people and it involves a lot of disappointment, a lot of pain, a lot of breakages, a lot of losses until you get to a point where you'll be able to know what kind of person you have to pick, what kind of training that you have to give to people, what kind of quality of people that you need to have for you to get that strength of people, that strength of team you know that can build the business that you want without you killing yourself so uh, if you don't have that basic primary understanding that for you to build a business you need a very good people skill you need to know that uh, no business can be built without without you having very good quality people you know that you can depend on people with the right expertise people with the right understanding with the with the right technical understanding with the right network and people with the right character that you have developed you have come in contact with if your network is made of people like that then you are at a stage where you can build a, a business so entrepreneurship really is is about that it's about starting off with yourself and trying 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 to a point where you get and you have very good network of people whether they are employees whether they are partners whether they are consultants whether they are experts in their own right that are part of the network so whenever you need any information whenever you need anything done you can easily depend on those people without doubting that they will you know they will do it or without doubting that they will screw you or lie to you and that kind of uh, stage does not come easily at all it does not come easily at all it's going to be uh, one mistake one mistake after the other one mistake after the other one disappointment after the other one disappointment after the other continuous errors then you get to a point where you see that these are the kind of people that we can build very good business you know and so if you're stuck with a bad team you're not going anywhere 
if you're stuck with a bad uh, uh, team you're not going anywhere and a bad team is a team that is lacking in expertise and that is lacking in uh, in character you know the lacking expertise and the lacking character that's a bad team you're not going anywhere and so if if you're going to build the team that you will need is is the owners is on you the owners is on me because that's what entrepreneurship is about there's no point trying to use all your life to build a business that would just have to depend on you and you cannot take even a day's break from your business because you're so much fearful that the people who you put in charge will steal or lie will, will collapse everything that you have done because at the end of it a uh, time will come that you would have to leave the business anyway it's one of your best skills and you cannot be everywhere at the same time so if the business is going to grow it's going to grow with people it's going to grow with people that <laughs> should be part of the network the network that you have built you can know everything you can only know one or two things you know you can master everything which means that you have got to depend in your on your network of of expertise and so it's a skill that we all have to uh, develop and if you don't develop it uh, you are not building any business you just have something that you're spending your life to do to get some kind of money and which can collapse anytime that there's a problem with you and with yourself and which cannot even grow which cannot even grow so my name is Obinda I'm talking about entrepreneurship is about team skill it's so about team skill it's a skill that you have to develop and if you don't develop it then uh, everything that you're building has no future that's no future because the, the strength of the business the strength of your of you as a leader is the strength of the team the quality of the team the expertise that you have around you and so uh, we can delay so much uh, trying to you know flow with people who are not ready to develop themselves and that will put your business into a long delay you know so the moment there are some things that you look for if you are going to look for um, if you're going to build this kind of team and there's a skill so maybe it's, it's almost uh, likely that your first employee or your or your second employee or those people a lot of them probably will not uh, stay with you if you're happy to have them stay with you and they happen to grow with the business uh, then you did a very good work but if they don't stay with you it means that you are going to learn how some of these guys will um, um you're going to learn the skill to pick the right people who will be able to get the job done because at the end of it you can do everything you can do everything so it's a condition of mind that you have to have and it's a it's, a, it's an important subject that you have to look at and so it's not oh you know usually people in our community don't trust anybody at all if you don't believe it it's only the the the, the people who have been able to set uh, some kind of standard or came to the country to build a business with some kind of standard who are able to give their businesses to managers to run and and they stay out maybe or they are not a hundred percent present why because people's experiences with leaving businesses for people to run has not been or have not been a very good one you see you it's not that the people are bad but it's that we did not probably pick the right people and we did not probably train them before we gave them um, a kind of responsibility that should be given to somebody who has been developed somebody who has been trained so you cannot just pick somebody today and tomorrow you just give him everything and he has access to all the money has access to everything because um, and you have no cross ways of cross checking them because you think that uh, you just pick a, a good accountant or a good manager usually people are coming with all the backlog people are coming with their own understanding of working with people and very few people have that much uh, honest and ethical uh, when they're giving serious serious resources to lead and handle and so you don't want to give critical positions in your business to people that you have not tested people that you have not trained people who have not been with you I mean, sometimes those who have been with you if they are if they have not grown with you if there was no structure or system to continue on to develop them and you did not test them gradually and you happen to just put a lot on them they will disappoint you they will disappoint you and those are just employees how about the 
people like accounting firms, people like your you know consultants that you deal with, engineers that you deal with, maybe sometimes even there's a case, there's a lawyer. And because you have not built a very good network with them, they will screw you and go and sell the thing and take money somewhere, you know. And sometimes even partners, partners that you're doing the business with. If there was no plan to develop yourselves, you know, continuously, you will get to a point where you cannot depend on them, you know, because the character will not be as solid as you would probably want it. And then, uh, you know, maybe the expertise, they were not even growing with the pace which... Uh, you expected them to grow so all that you want to become you know all that you want to become all that you want to become as an entrepreneur is to build a skill that can handle a team quality team because the best of you is reflecting or is is seen in the best of team that you have uh, together so the quality of your team is the quality of your resource if you don't have any team, if it's one person, two people, the network that you have, the quality of it is really, uh, is, is really the kind of pressure that you're handling today or the, the less pressure that you're handling today. The results that you're getting is a reflection of the team that you built when you started. And so if you have no of this, it means that you probably have people around you, but you don't have a team. And if you don't, if you don't have that, it means that you have also not developed uh, that skill. To pick the right people and to develop them so you build the expertise to work with the best make sure you build the expertise to work with the best and that does not come in a day that comes with time that comes with trying that comes with training that comes with making mistakes that comes with picking the wrong person and firing them that comes with picking the the, 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 the wrong person who left you that comes with all kind of errors that you get to a point when you meet the quality people, you'll be able to identify and build them. You know, so sometimes the accounts people, sometimes your employees, sometimes the lawyers. When you move around, what do you look for in people? Because there's always people you're meeting. What do you look for? Do you look for people who are very good at what they do and people who are very much uh, character driven they are honest they are they are they're faithful they are on time they are organized they are orderly do you look for those kind of people if you just look for anybody <laughs> you will not get anywhere and so most of us they just think that once the man is a lawyer it means that he's good no just look for a lawyer who is that organized with what he does and who's also that much trustworthy and they have to prove that because to get to a point they will sell you if they are not trustworthy, if they put the money above the, the profession and the people, they will sell you. And so you look for people like that. Employees, the same. You have to have a model where you are going to develop the quality of the employees that you have. And you have to let them understand that this is a business that you cannot be there every time. And so if, they, if you give them responsibility, you expect them to work and work well for the growth of every one of us, you know, for the, for the growth of the business and for the benefit of everybody. And so you condition that you let people understand that here if you're here we expect you to play as part of the team don't look for ways and means to just get your interest and move on that is not what we are expecting we are expecting that once you're here for the duration that you're going to be here we expect you to do this and do them well and we should be able to trust you and 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 make sure that you do your work well it's a skill it doesn't come easily like that you know, so um, in becoming a good team person, you are going to make a lot of problems. Uh, you are going to meet a lot of problems. You are going to make a lot of errors. You know, people, will <laughs> you pick wrong people and they will turn out to be different people. Or, uh, they will fight you. They will curse you. They will create a lot of problems for you. Don't worry. It's just part of you getting to a stage where you'll be able to pick the right people and build a team that can help the business to grow and grow without you sweating or without you killing yourself and so it doesn't really matter the, the, the people that you trusted who failed or the people that you so much depending on who moved on it doesn't really matter uh, those who promise you to be around and they move on it doesn't really matter what matters is that you understand the process that if i started a business that way i am going to become that person who has very good skill in terms of managing a team in terms of leading people I'm, and I'm seeing the relevance of me picking the right people because without that, I am not going anywhere. 
Without the right people, I am not getting anywhere. Without the right people with the right expertise, the right character, the right commitment, the right heart, those who are come, you know, those who are ready to work to make sure the business succeeds. If I don't have those kind of people, I am not going anywhere. You cannot do everything all by yourself. You know, you can do everything alone. And so that thinking and, and your best blessing is in the kind of people that you've been able to get in your network, in your employee, in your partners. That is your best blessing. If you, they are dependable, if they are serious with their work, if they are ethical, if they are character driven, if they are honest, if they know that they love the work and they are committed to the growth of the business, you have a fantastic future. But if you if you are if you're that kind of person who does not believe in anybody, who thinks that everybody is a liar, everybody is a thief, nobody can do it better than uh, you will do it. You have to be present to make sure that everything is done well. You are worrying yourself trying to become an entrepreneur. You just have to just have a job somewhere and get revenue and move on. You know, and, and that is one of the reasons why um, uh, we still find it very difficult to build businesses here because uh, we still have problem trying to let people handle things in our absence. And so you just have to be comfortable. If I have to be present to make uh, 10, 100 Ghana CD uh, revenue, I would rather want to be absent and to make sure that somebody else who is working, even if I don't trust them, can make maybe uh, 80 or 90 so that I can do more. And my skill then becomes being able to get people who uh, can work better than me you know and so I, it becomes a team becomes something that we are doing and we are all playing our part that is the kind of uh, thinking that you have to have you don't have to just be say hey if you're not there they will take everything and steal from you don't build and also start to also learn what kind of uh, systems and what kind of things that you can put in place to monitor and to control a lot of the activities that they do you know they are in charge but you would want to look at what they do if they do them rightly or if they don't do them rightly every now and then but you just have to understand that uh, it's a skill that takes a long journey to get it's a skill i mean getting the right team that you have built the right network the right portfolio of people that you can depend on it's a long journey it's a very long journey uh, there will be many disappointment as uh, but keep going there will be many, many, many disappointments. People will lie. People will uh, 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 screw you. People will just say whatever they want to say. Uh, keep going because it's a skill that you need. It's a skill that you need. And so you build a team on trust and on respect. You want to know that these employees, these partners, those who you, you, you collaborate with, that you can depend on, they are trustworthy and they respect you as well. As you respect them because who, the basis of my relationships uh, will be respect you know so if they don't have any regard uh, for the, the expertise that you have for the personality that you are for the contributions that you have made there is not going to be any team which can deliver the results if they are if you can't take their word if they are not trustworthy and you if you have not decided to develop that the team is not going anywhere it means that you don't have the skill yet you don't have that skill yet. Yes, money may be coming into the business. The business may be growing. But the business the fact that the business is growing does not mean that it's going it's sustainable. The business is going to be sustainable when you have the right when you have developed the right team scale. And when you have the right team, you built it over the time. And so now you can depend on this team to get the job done. To get the job done so build a team that believes in having character in in, in, in being honest and the team that is not uh, uh, driven uh, by cheating and by stealing and by lying and things like that you know they, they, they just want to cheat people screw people lie and, and it's a team that is not tough enough to withstand pressure and difficult moments you don't need a team like that if a team is like that you don't have no team the team is a team. The team is a is a group of people. You know, they are determined towards the goal, and it doesn't matter what difficulties that they meet. They are going to keep their their values. They are going to keep their ethics. They are going to keep their character intact, and they exhibit some bit of courage to keep going to get to the results, to get to the finishing point. That is a team, and that's the kind of force that you want to have. 
but it doesn't come one day it comes when you are developing it when you are developing it and there are some people in your team that you know this one cannot get here those you may have to let them go then then somewhere sometimes when you are moving somewhere and you meet somebody and you know that this person has this there is always be there should always be a backup of quality people that you can always uh, follow so you look for that it's a scale your eye is always looking for good people quality people people who have the skill people who have the character people who have the stamina people who have the disposition to get results to grow to be part of something significant you are always looking for that you're looking for it in men you're looking for it in women you're looking for it in grown-ups in old you're looking for it everywhere because that is a skill actually as an entrepreneur that will make you succeed that will make you succeed if you delay in developing that skill you will delay your growth and sometimes it will be detrimental to your, your very existence you know the, 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 for, uh, for you to continue to grow for you to continue to develop if you overlook that there's no future for your business if you overlook that there's no future for your business at all and this does not only apply to business it applies to any other thing that anybody else is doing the people skill the team skill is so critical if you don't have it and if you don't develop it the time that you need to depend on people you will not have them so build that kind of team that uh, will love the entrepreneurship journey because it's very volatile it's very uh, um, um, erratic it's it's dangerous it's fun it's everything you know so you would want to have a team that understands the dynamics of entrepreneurship of building business from scratch from nothing you know you want to have people who understand this if you don't if you have the corporate the kind of psyche you cannot you cannot build the business with this kind of people if you have people who are looking for comfort and predictability <laughs> you can't build anything with that kind of group of people if you're looking at people who are very much okay and satisfied with their little achievement you don't have that it means that you are not looking for those people you are not building the right expertise because entrepreneurship is danger it's fun it's unpredictable it's always in constant change and you want the, the team to be thinking like that you want a team who believes in that the team who believes in this kind of journey you want a team like that so you build that kind of people and if you don't uh, you will suffer all your life as an entrepreneur if you overlook the team the team is not only the team is not only the employees the team is also the kind of friends that you keep the, the, the network that you have in terms of the business that you're doing and who does what you know sometimes it could be just an accounting firm that you you, you follow on or an accountant that you follow on. sometimes it could just be a very special person that you can rely on to do something for you sometimes it's just a design team that you have somewhere maybe you can afford so you you, you depend on somebody sometimes it's just an architectural firm that you collaborate with sometimes it's it's not anything maybe it's a logistics uh, company that you rely on all those the quality of that network that you have will decide how how fast and how big you can grow your business how fast and how big you can grow your business with less headache but if you think that you don't need any of those people and you can do everything by yourself it means that you don't believe that your business can become big you don't believe that you are being you're doing something phenomenal because you just have to be there to do it and a lot of people have those kind of convictions where they have to be the one to do everything and they don't trust anybody at all they cannot even leave the office for anybody to be there alone you know because they're so suspicious and stressful and you can't blame them because of the experiences and everything but i just as i said the journey is to get to a point where you can have a network of people you can you can depend on you can trust that they will deliver and it's not just going to be straight part that and the next day you have all these people it's going to come through a lot of you know mistakes and errors and tries and stuff like that until you get to that stage where and so sometimes you meet somebody who has worked with another person for 10 20 years and you see that they are so much close and they are focused and they understand themselves they did not get there in a day they intentionally built that even if if, if they started and they didn't have that in mind at a point they saw the importance of it having a network of people who are skilled in their various 
uh, fields, you know, and, and who are very much uh, good people because you don't, you, you want to choose character over expertise. You want to choose character over expertise. You want to choose somebody who will be honest and kind and, 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 and trustworthy. There's somebody who can do the job, but by the time they finish it, they have destroyed everything. You know, so if I have to choose between the two, I will go for somebody I can depend on, somebody I can trust. And then I can, he can probably develop the technical skills, uh, technical expertise, maybe along the line. But if you get the two, then you have a better chance. And so if you're going to develop, the entrepreneurship journey is tough. We all know it's not that uh, uh, simple. And nobody, don't listen to people who have just read about it. It's not something that you read about it something that you do and every one of us will have different part of getting to their goals but it's the same thing it's the same thing the difficulties will come the journeys will, i mean the things that you will not know will come but if you set up if you set off with the right things the, the right priorities the right things to focus on and develop them then you will get to your destinations a bit more a bit more faster and less uh, stressful than the one who did not give uh, priorities to those things and you know so some people are building businesses but they are not giving priority to the people skill to the to, to the ability uh, to pick the right people and develop the right network and writing people some people will never look at that at all they think that maybe that is the job of the HR or so, things like that you will, your business will not get to the point where you have an HR department if you don't develop this skill if you don't develop this skill and even if you have a HR department <laughs> you still have the strategy to grow your business you should be involved because the people are everything if they come and they screw the whole thing everything else you have built will, will suffer and people can be that much complicated you know so if you happen to get to, to follow one wrong person you can waste a whole one year or two years or three years of your life for nothing for instance in construction if uh, if you're looking for projects and you happen to meet a crook who will tell you that oh the president is my classmate and you too you are greedy you will follow them they will take all the money on you and they waste all your time and there are a lot of them like that with big portfolio they know every minister they know everybody in a big office and you because you did not take time to build your network you're looking for uh, something that can fix your, your problem quickly and usually you will fall into the hands of some of these guys you know so they see you then they know that they have another business <laughs> they will waste all your time they take all your money but there's no point trying to build a business and chasing government officials for project don't chase anybody build your business and uh, build them with some bit of honesty and credibility focus on the right skills that are needed and uh, and major part of it is the team skill the ability to build the right kind of team whether employee team or even network of people that you can easily fall on and and contact and get the job uh done or the business built that uh, that is what you focus on entrepreneurship is really about innovation it's about creativity you know so you developing those you want to have people who are innovative who are thoughtful who are creative who see far who are committed to their vision people who have character people who believe in the things that you're doing network of people like that you will get a lot of things done with less stress than trying to do it every uh, everything all by yourself because you today start with the right understanding of what entrepreneurship is about. So you thought that once you have a very good product, you will succeed. Not necessarily. Because the quality of the decisions that you are going to make is going to come from the quality of the network. The people in your network. If they don't have the right quality information, <laughs> the product will not go anywhere. The product will not go anywhere. You will suffer. And so look at this look at this take time to develop those things because that the people skill is which will decide whether you continue to build the business or you give up when you're hit with difficulties and troubles it's the network of people around you that will keep you going that will keep you going 
or you, you give up if you have the wrong team. If you have the wrong team and you're in difficulty, the team will become part of the problem. <laughs> uh, they will be part of the problem, the part of the bedding. You know, they will destroy you before they even the problem itself destroys you. Because you did not take the time to build the right team. You know, and you probably did not even develop the right team uh, skill. You did not even give attention to it. And so when you were in trouble, it destroyed you. And if you have the right team, a lot of things will come. A lot of things will come because they work for the interest of the, of the business. They go anywhere they are talking about the business. They go anywhere they are very happy. If something is going bad, they are worried. They want to make sure that things work well. They, if things don't work well, they are worried. They want to do everything to make sure that things get back on track. And they are innate. They are not self-focused. They are not self-driven. They are not looking for their self-interest. They are focused on the on the on the on the on the business, on the vision, on where you want to go. They are focused on the agenda at hand. That when that kind of people or those kind of people don't just come, they are developed and they are developed because you had the right skill to put a team together. And 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 it, it also requires a lot of training. A lot of shift of philosophies, a lot of shift of thinking and paradigms and a lot of things that you continuously have to build within you and also within your team, within your network, within your network. Because if there is a cultural break or cultural shift and they don't buy into all the things that you're talking about, you have no, you have no team. If no, you, you come to say something, when you go, they stand up and they trash it. It's nothing. You didn't develop them. You didn't develop them. So when there's trouble, they will jump into the enemy's camp quick and kill you. <laughs> so uh, my name is Ovin Daku. Uh, so thank you very much. Please, uh, thank you very much. You can share this video with uh, people who are uh, into entrepreneurship, those who want to build businesses. And uh, they say that Africans don't like working together. If you don't work together, you have no future. If you don't develop the ability to work with teams and with people, you have no future. Because the battles are not won individually. It's a network. It's a cartel. And so it's better you, you go with the team and win than to go alone and die. You know? So it's, it's a shift of mind. It's a shift of mind. Entrepreneurship is just a shift of mind. You are not doing things as everybody else is doing. If they are employees, they, will, they are waiting for their salary. They want to hide it from everybody. They don't believe in team. Now, if you are a business person, if you're an entrepreneur, you want to think opposite that. You want to look at what can we do together? What can we do together? That's your philosophy. What can we do together? What can we do together? How, where, can we get, where can we join forces to get it done? You are always looking for talent. You're always looking for skill. You're always looking for good people. You're always looking for those who believe in your... Those who think like that. Those who want to get things done. You're always looking for... Because the treasure is in the people. Okay? So, it, it, you can get just one good person and he brings or she brings a whole opening of opportunities. Okay? And so... If you don't do that, if you don't think like that, and it's only you and you, and when somebody is coming, I remember when in the secondary school, some people, when they had the textbook that was uh, one and everybody didn't have, or they, they got wing of uh, the, the questions that were coming, they hid it themselves. But that was for ESA. Uh, in the university, some people will go to the library and take the, the one textbook and hide it so that they will be the one to become, uh, to get the 100 mark. That is as I'm, it doesn't take you anywhere. In this life, if you want to achieve anything, you want to collaborate, you want to get along with people who are going the same place, people with expertise, people with character, people who, who have open minded open mindedness, those who bring a lot into the network. You want to look at people like that. You want to look at people like that. And that is the shift of mind that you have to have. If everything depends on you, you must as well go and look for a job. And that's what some people can be self-employed all their lives because they are not able to build the people skill, the team skill. So they have to be the one. They are the expert. They are the, they are the surgeon. They are the best. But they cannot do anything with a group. So they will be little. Their growth will be restricted immensely because you can only grow with people. You can only grow with people. You can't grow 
all by yourself, all alone. It's impossible. And if you have a bad team, then that's a different situation. Your, your troubles won't go away until you're able to change or improve the team. Or improve the team. So wherever you want to go, it's contingent on the team. And that team that you want is contingent on the skill that you have, the people skill. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you.